Hey girlfriends and boyfriends, welcome back to another video. I'm Ashley if you're new. And if you're not new and you're already one of mine, hey girl, hey boy, I told you I was gonna call you back. I'm starting to vlog off super late. I was gonna do like a chill with me. It is Sunday and I have like a lot of stuff to do. So I was gonna do like a chill type of video, but I am preparing for the holidays. So I need to get my house together. There are a lot of loose ends out, so I need to make sure that I go ahead and put those up because I'm about to be decorating and stuff, and I don't want my house to look cluttered with my decor. I don't want that, so I'm going to get some things situated. I also need to take off my nails. I just did a door dash, so I just ugh, got my order from Walgreens. I did get a shower liner because we need... A shower liner y'all change y'all shower liners those things need to be changed okay or washed to either or and then i bought some little juices y'all know in this household we love the arizona watermelon fruit cocktail juice this is so good we love these over here okay and um i ordered those so i never go to walgreens without getting those got some freaking foul and i got them because i need to take off my nails I will be getting my nails done this week, so I need to take them off. Girl. Girl. Ordered some acetone. They were out of acetone. I ordered two different kinds, and they were out of both of them. So, I don't know if you can see, but, like, these nails have been on for a really long time. And this right here, like this, let me show you. It's, like, almost coming up a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell, so... I can go ahead and take them off and they not hurt as bad, but I wanted to go ahead and do like the acetone, get the acetone and, you know, take all that stuff off. <sighs> they were out and I waited to the last minute. I just need to go ahead and get them off of my hands. So that was something we were going to do together, but I'm probably just going to end up popping them off. So yeah i am going to be cleaning up i still have to put away my wigs from when i washed my wigs they have just been sitting there i'm pretty sure they're more than dry and what else do i need to do i need to put some clothes up you know just little small things little loose ends type things and it is getting time for me to start getting my closet situated so i'm gonna have to do that too y'all just clothes and switching out clothes for the season it's coming one day where i won't have to do that where i won't have to switch out i just have a closet for each you know each season all four seasons you get one you get one <laughs> you get one so mm -hmm. and then y'all y'all know i went to nashville baby when i say i went and got me a cinnabon or two or three i went and got me a cinnabon so i'm gonna give me a cinnabon tonight but yeah so let's start cleaning up we're gonna start cleaning up this house getting things situated and i will see y'all back here when we finish
I want to thank HSIA Bras for sponsoring this video. They are a bra company that has bras for us bustier women. As a bustier woman, it's sometimes hard for me to find bras that are a good fit for me. Most of the bras that are tailored to bustier women kind of are not cute bras. And HSIA Bras came through for your girl. For one, I love their bras. They sent me over six bras. And from what I can say, they have some really good fabric in them. They're both lightweight and breathable. They have good structure as well so like they can provide that lift that you need but give you that everyday support so not that heavy duty type of support that we kind of always see for bustier women you don't have that heavy duty with these bras but you still get that heavy duty kind of quality and then the straps when i say the straps oh my god they are adjustable but they're soft they have a u-shaped band in the bag and they just make everything so seamless and makes it seem so seamless on your skin i've never had a bra like this before in my life like ever when i say ever ever and as you can see they're cute look how cute those bras are like they are so freaking cute the lace on them just gives it like the perfect feminine touch i really 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 love that and i just think what amazes me the most is that quality of the bra you get that heavy duty quality without the heavy duty look and that for me is like a plus it's top tier in my book i love that because us bustier women want to feel confident and sexy too without having to feel like we have the most heaviest duty type of bras on once again i want to thank hsia bras for sponsoring this video these bras are so amazing you can't find these at lane bryan i mean you could try to but you can't find these in lane bryan the material is so breathable and then i like that we don't have to have all that padded and heavy duty material on the bra the bra is dainty and really really feminine without all the extra it holds the girls in well I love it. You know, I'm not gonna let them hook me up without hooking y'all up. I have a coupon code in the description box below. Y'all know how hard it is to find bras, especially for us bustier women. Bras that are sexy and dainty and feminine. You can't find those everywhere, not for busty women at least. So I have the hookup for you all. I have a code in the description box below, as well as the links to the bras that I have and the ones that you all saw me try on. But the discount code does work for the entire website. So shop up, babe. I'm about to go buy me somewhere as I speak. So yeah, thank you so much to HSIA Bras for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Let's get back into the vlog. All right, y'all, so I am finished cleaning. I really didn't have much to clean, but uh, I'm trying to see if I want to start my, uh, if I want to start my closet. I know I need to definitely start. But I don't think I want to start tonight. <laughs> it's just so much to do. Mm. I don't know. I feel like I can get ahead of things if I start tonight, but... The fact of me starting. Because once you start, you got to finish. This stuff going to be everywhere. I don't know. I am about to gear, gear up. Y'all know I had got this earlier sometime last week. I bought the purifier. But I'm actually going to take it back. Because I think I'm just going to get like the, the gallon purifiers. And just purify me some water for when I need it or whatever. This was definitely a great deal. I got this for 20 something dollars, 22, 21. And they're originally like $40, 40 something. It was a good deal. I just, we can't get my thing off of my, um, the part that we need to get off of my sink off. So girl, I'm just gonna let that be a fail and take this back. We've tried everything and it's not coming off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the gallon ones. I'm gonna take this back probably tomorrow or sometime this week or whatever i need to take that back i have a few things to take back to usps as well i need to find them that is neither here nor there i can't find them child but that is definitely something that i need to do 
Oh, Lordy. I'm really tired. Like, so, so tired. It's one, it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm definitely not about to do the closet. I'm no, I'm thinking it's like 11. It's one o'clock in the freaking morning. Girl. Wow. One o'clock in the freaking morning. I'm about to try to take my nails off now. They're mostly loose for the most part, so I'll be able to take them off. I got some acetone. Well, I ordered acetone earlier, and that didn't work. <laughs> so they were out of it. And now I'm just trying to, like, take them off. And I haven't done this in so long. I really don't want to take them off like this, but I have no choice. I have no choice. I'm getting my nails done and I need to take them off and I always do this I always wait to the very end to start like ripping them off or taking them off and I don't have any more acetone either I thought I had a little bit left but I actually don't and all of my nails are on my hands so uh, yeah that's exciting or I could get up in the morning and go get them soaked off. I could do that. I just want to make sure I get these nails off. I mean, I guess I could go up at 9. It's not going to take as long. I could go at 9 and get them soaked off. I think that's what I'll do. Because I really don't want to, like, <laughs> rip them off. It hurts so bad. I don't got time for this. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. I am about to go ahead and eat my Cinnabon. I mean, it's one something in the morning, but I kind of want it. I've been thinking about it, so I'm going to go get my Cinnabon, child. And I'm going to have me, yeah, a bottle of water. And then I'm going to go to bed. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm just basically chilling for the rest of the night, y'all. This is going to be like a mini vlog, only because I was supposed to start earlier. But to be honest, I went to sleep today. And y'all know I'm all about self-care, y'all. Like, I take so much pride in what I do. Anything that I do, I take pride in. But I have felt myself feeling sleepy. And I know I needed to get up and do stuff. And I had stuff to do. But I felt myself getting tired and sleepy. And I wasn't about to stop or deprive myself of that rest. Because if I would have, I would have felt it in the long run. And I'm all about, you got to do what's best for you. You got to do what's best for your body. You got to do what's best for you in general because if you don't ain't nobody else gonna do it for you you know so i'm all about that when i say all about that i mean completely about that i do not overextend myself i don't over exude myself where i don't need to or where i feel like i don't need to if i feel like i need a break i'm gonna take a break if i feel like i need to chill out i'm gonna chill out if i feel like i can push a little bit further i'm gonna push a little bit further but i ain't gonna push as further I'm not going to push as far as I could go. Put it like that. I take time to bask in my rest. Because, y'all, I say this all the time. And I mean it with so much in me. Self-care is the best care. You cannot be your best when you don't feel your best. And that's just honestly true. Like, you can put on a facade, but you won't still won't be giving your best because you're having to fake it. When you feel refreshed, when you feel well, when you feel like, okay... I've taken care of myself, then you can pour. You cannot pour from a, 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 a well that don't got no water in it, a well that's dry, a well that's tired. You can't be your best self for the people around you. And I know a lot of y'all, like, we have, we're at the age now where we have kids. Oh, thank the Lord, I don't have any right now. I want some, but not just right now. So, we're at the age where we have kids, you know, and jobs, careers. Nieces, nephews, family, friends, parents to take care of. You can't be your best for those people if you don't take care of yourself first. And it's so important, y'all. Like, it's so important. And I, I'm an advocate. Y'all know I am an advocate for that. When I say an advocate, I am a definitely an advocate. I talk about self-care a lot. And that's because there was once upon a time, like I always tell y'all, when I didn't take self-care seriously, I didn't take doing the things I would do for everybody else. And then when it came to me, I'd be so pulled from, people pulling from me every which way, 
and I'd be so pulled from that I couldn't even do anything for myself. And it sounds selfish. I'm going to do for me first every time. I'm going to do for me first every time. Every single time because ain't nobody gonna got ain't nobody got you like you got you. Nobody's gonna have your back like except for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But ain't nobody on this earth physically gonna have you like you got you. And so you just have to be mindful of that. Like people, if it came down to people's, you know, to have you or to have them, they would pick them. And you have some people that'll still pick you, but I don't know. For me, I just feel like I'm going to always pick me first. And I feel like that, too, because I've been a person that always picked others first before myself. And I feel better when I pick myself first because I can be, I can give 110% when I pick myself first versus I'm giving you 90% or I'm giving you, and 90% isn't even, you know, you would think, okay, but well, that's still a lie, but when you take pride in what you do, I want to give 110 at all times. So, when I take care of myself, I'm able to do that. When I don't, I'm not able to do that. I'm not able to do anything. I, listen, the Lord is my witness at work. They tell you, they can tell you all the time, if I feel overwhelmed, I'm going to take me a break. I'm going to walk out. I'm going to take me a break. I'm going to go and do what I got to do to get myself back together. And I'm going to come back. I'm never going to overextend myself. Y'all, these jobs don't care about you. They don't care about you. They'll have your replacement the next day. Come on now. Take that PTO. Because I'm going to take it every time. I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to take it. And then when I don't have the PTO and I actually go to work and I get tired, I'm going to take me a break. An unsolicited break. Sure am. Sure am. Because I cannot be proficient. I cannot be what you need me to be, and I'm frustrated, I'm tired, I'm lacking in something, in energy, mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, I'm gonna go talk to some people, I'm gonna go scroll on my phone, I'm gonna sit in my car, I'm gonna go walk, I'm gonna go do something, I'm gonna do something to make myself better, so y'all, so self-care is just, it's the best, you have to, you have, you have to, you absolutely, absolutely have to. Absolutely. <laughs> you absolutely have to take care of yourself, y'all. And then when you take care of yourself, you feel you look better. You feel better. You look better. You present yourself better. You know, your aura is just better. Your energy is just better. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm just never in the business ever again, like ever, ever, ever. I'm not taking care of myself. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and get off of here. I want to go ahead and close this vlog out. This is supposed to be so different, but I'm not going to force anything. We are authentic over here. I tell you that all the time. Authent authenticity is what we have over here. So, I'm just going to let it be what it is. Y'all tune in. Y'all know we are not perfect over here. We close, but we're not perfect. So, yeah, y'all, we didn't really do too much. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. As much as I enjoy vlogging for y'all, it was a mini vlog. It definitely was a very mini vlog, like super mini. But I'm still going to push it out. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. If you have not liked this video, please like this video. It helps me a lot. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe so I can officially be a girlfriend. And as always, in true Ashley fashion, I'll call you back. Bye. I think that I love you.